I'm here with Bradley Walsh and Jamie Bamber. How are you both? Very well. Exceptionally well. That's good. Yeah. A moment ago you seemed a little bit kind of lacklustre about coming in here, and now no. you're, v- now you're no, very no, well. No, no, no. What's we changed? Your shirt. We saw your shirt, and we realised that this was going to be a fun interview. We're here to talk about Law & Order UK. UK. Tell me about Law & Order UK. Well, it's like the old Law & Order, but set in the UK. In the UK, yeah. okay. That's, I, I didn't guess that from the yeah. title. And you play the policeman. We do. And how did that work out? It's worked out well. Yeah, it's great. Actually, yeah, we I play obviously play the older cop. I mean, Ronnie Brooks is in his sort of uh, early to mid fifties. He's um, a reformed alcoholic. Has a been through uh, had a couple of divorces, mm-hmm. uh, a couple of daughters. He very rarely sees. Um, and she shoots, he scores. Um, no, I'm into. Uh, I love being a policeman. I love this guy. When you say you love this guy, there's not some sort of sexual tension nothing, between the two of you. No, nothing. No, just an admiration. No, it's yeah. not that kind of love. No. Yeah. It's no. a deeper love than that. It's, it's even d- even deeper than a romantic love. Yeah, I think romantic loves are quite superficial. They involve rubbing and things. Okay. <laughs> Deep loves don't involve touching. Okay, so you, there's absolutely no, ch- no touching between the two. No, we never touch. I think never. lots of your fans will be disappointed, Jamie. Will they? Mm. Get over it. You think so? Yeah. If someone was sat at home watching this now and they're thinking, hey, I quite like law, I quite like order, I'm not sure if I like the combination of them together, sell the show to them. It's, it's, it's like a chocolatey biscuit with a toffee taste too. It's two things in one. Um, if you like law, if you like a courtroom drama, if you like a police drama, put them together and what have you got? Something better than both ingredients. You've got a caramelised biscuit. Yeah, you've got a caramelised biscuit and... The law side of it would normally take an hour. The order side of it would normally take an hour. We do. It's all done, law and order, within the hour, which means the show is so fast, it's frightening. From corpse to conviction inside the hour. <laughs> <laughs> is that the tagline or is that just coming from I your just brain? Came, I just came up with that. But, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> what is the most inappropriate present you've ever received? Jamie, we'll start with you. Um, uh, inappropriate. I, I've uh, I had a fan who used to send me a teddy bear d- dressed as me as my, in my latest role every time. So mm. I, I've had yeah, many teddy bears in different character guises. I don't know what to do with that. Now, someone in our office said they used to wear a fat suit in one of the series. Is this true? In Battlestar, I wore a fat suit for a bit, yeah. Yeah. Do you have a sort of a greater appreciation for the roles that Eddie Murphy takes on now? I do, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, no, Nutty Professor is now, for me, is, is, is Hamlet. And Bradley, inappropriate gift. Uh, the most inappropriate gift I was ever bought was a uh, uh, school uniform uh, bought my, by my mother for me uh, to attend my secondary school my new secondary school, and because we weren't very well off, she bought all the clothes from the Army and Navy store. Right. What does that mean? Well, you look a bit of a fool going to school dressed up as a Japanese admiral. (laughs) (laughs) How would you cope with being taken hostage? Bradley? Uh, I don't think I would be able to cope with it. Really? Yeah, really. You'd have to. You're being taken hostage. He would absolutely drive them insane. Really? They'd be releasing him within the hour. (laughs) Really? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. You reckon so? He'd keep clown them into submission. You say that. You say that like you've spent uh, so much time with him that I you have. are almost getting irritated by Bradley Walsh. Not I irritated. I can't imagine anyone Not getting irritated. irritated by you, Bradley. No, I laugh so much. My 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 diaphragm hurts. And, really? And then I have to leave the room. Yeah. <laughs> you've had to have I soil surgery. myself. <laughs> have you ever been mistaken for somebody else? Yes, all the time. Who do you get <laughs> confused with? I always, always, always. Well, I I mistook him for someone else. Really? I thought he was Brian Conley. Really? <laughs> yeah, everyone, everyone confuses me with Brian Conley. Is that because of the light entertainment thing? Because you did Wheel of Fortune. No, I like little Wheel of Fortune. You're better than John Leslie. Where's he now? Hey, uh, Brian, no, everyone confuses me with Brian Conley. Uh, Brian uh, once uh, used to have this catchphrase called It's a Puppet from his TV show on Saturday night. And I got followed once around Asda's by a family <laughs> kept saying It's a Puppet. It's a puppet. Anyway, they said, would you mind signing? They drove me mad, this family. Would you mind signing something? So I said, yeah, sure. And I got a piece of paper. I said, please, now, piss off. Lots of love, Brian Conley. That's brilliant. And that's it. And, go. <laughs> <laughs> and so they were very happy with that. Well, thank you very much, Bradley and Jamie, for talking to me. Well, Remind me pleasure. when Law and Order UK is on. Mondays at 9. 23rd of February, from then on. I Be shall... there? Oh, don't. Uh, let's all wave to the camera now. In a unified way. Oh. Come on, brother, join him. It's a very strange way. Okay. That's good.